hi everybody this is diane i'm coming to you again with another video i wanted to show you all how to actually do rhinestone um lettering alphabet typing within cricut design space um, as you all know that they cricut does not have the capability of actually um creating within design space as far as rhinestones is concerned but i did find a workaround so um so that you won't have to do an import in another program, export in another program, and then import it back into design space. I found something that I think you all would enjoy as far as lettering. This is not nothing to do with uh, the actual shapes or anything. This is strictly having to do with uh, font lettering. Okay, so uh, let's get to it. So it's called, um, they're called typable fonts, which is TTF fonts or OTF fonts, and they're called a typable alphabet. So I have a few places I want to show you all uh, that actually do it. Um, they've taken the time to actually go and do it. So I want to show you all that and actually show you all how to do it within Cricut Design Space. But first, I need to close Cricut Design Space because if I do not, um, you all won't be able to see. Uh, well, actually, I can keep it open, so I'll just keep it open. So let's go back to uh, the sites. So there's a couple of sites that actually have typable fonts available, um, which is right here. And I'll just show you the people that I use. So I use Rhinestone Digitals. I also use Rhinestone Ocean. Um, my file addiction used to have it, but I don't think that they have it anymore. Um, and those are the people that I have used. And then there's one more site that I'm going to show you that's pretty cool. Um, so you have to be careful because you want to make sure that you are looking for TTF or OTF fonts. I typed it in there and then this is what came up. There is a big difference. So you have people that sell font letters, rhinestone font letters, and you have people that sell typable font uh alphabets so you have to be very careful because you if you don't read you mess up and buy the wrong thing and then you you know it takes a little more time to work and do you can do it it just takes a little more time to do so i'm gonna go into rhinestone digital because they're they are always uh great to work with as far as this is concerned so So going into here, first of all, you want to make sure that you see install and type. You want to see that it says typable font and it's open type font or true type font. OK, so um, it also lets you know what it's compatible with. Make sure that it's compatible with your software that you're using. And so it shows you they're very good at showing you what it looks like. Um, then it also shows you if you create a word, what it will look like. And it shows you also because this is very important, the size that your letters need to be your sentence or your writing needs to be in order for it to uh effectively go into your rhinestone sizing so if you have ss10 this is what it's telling you that it has to be if you have ss6 this is what it's telling you that it has to be okay so you have to be very uh particular in doing this okay so this is just one person and also they're very good because they tell you um, you know, this is for all of the sizes and also with them, you can use this for commercial use. You cannot transfer it, um, as a copyright, please don't do that y'all, but you can go ahead and, um, use this for commercial use. So this is one, one of the people that I use. The other person that I use is, uh, the ocean, uh, rhinestone ocean, which is right here. Um, they are very good as far as lettering is concerned as well. So right here, you see this is typable font. You see that it's a tiny font, um, but it tells you it's OTF and it's TTF font. It's a two in one. So they also send you something when you download it. They do send you a readme file so that you can know exactly where to go uh, and how to use it and what the sizing needs to be. So they are also very great. Um, then the other lady that I use, and this is a difference though, but another lady that I use, a person that I use, store that I use, is my file addiction, and hers is right here. This is the difference. With her, she used to have typable font. I don't know what happened though. But anyway, um, so this is a SVG file. This is font letters. They are script font letters, strictly letters. So meaning that if you download, if you buy this and you download it, what you have to do is you have to upload each letter that you want, capital or, you know, lowercase, and then you can work it from there. So 
Um, and then she tells you the sample word and the sizing that it needs to be. And it tells you that it's all SS10. Okay. So you have to be careful uh, when you're f trying to find um, typable fonts. But this is a new person. I haven't seen this person uh, before, but this is new. They, Because uh, you can see their sales. Um, you can see, um, you know, their sales. And another thing you need to be careful of is some typable fonts have just lettering just the letters a a through z some of them just have the numbers which is one through zero and some have the annotations or not so you need to be careful when you're looking at this to find out if i want if i want this all letters so this is a good one because it has the letters and the numbers and the signs that you need some of them do not some of them just have the numbers some of them just have the letters um i've never seen anything with just these numbers or just the uh, signs but you want to be careful okay so another site which is pretty cool that i like um oh right here so this is um they're called alphabet uh rhinestone alphabet i like them they're very good um and they do truth type rhinestone uh fonts they have a lot of them so you just have to go through and see what you like they also have outline fonts which is which is nice so um with them they're a little more pricey but it's well, well worth it um but with them they do uh like they do lettering um solid outside the the rhinestone outline and then they also have the uh vinyl so this is vinyl in here so you could type in the vinyl letter and then you could type in the outside is rhinestone as you can see and this is the same thing over here with the numbers same thing this is only letters this is only numbers this is only letters so you have to just look at it and and view it and see it so this has both of them um and then it's so it's pretty cool another great thing about this page is that each week they do an 80 percent discount on one of their uh typable fonts so um as you can see it's two fonts in one and it's two sizes it's a ttl font which is a true type font it's only for sale for about two three bucks so it's never over five but it shows you everything you need to see they type it so that you can see what it looks like and how many stones are going to be in the design same thing here shows you the same thing okay the other great thing about them is they actually have a sizing chart so with the sizing chart you can actually see and i'm not going to press it but you can actually see um what size you need uh for it so i guess i will press it so you can see it so they're pretty good about this so i i really like them i stumbled upon them and i i really enjoyed them so with this detail you see um the font name you see the um the size and you see what kind of software you need to look be looking at so if you're using silhouette cricut design space this tells you exactly what you need to do for ss6 ss10 and ss16 so it's a great document to use so let's go to cricut so let me show you how you actually do it so what happens is the file comes in as a um as this it comes in as a zip file so what you would do you actually have to extract the file which is what i did so you see that and then you extract the file right there um that's click so i'll just show you you extract it like that you'll see it and then you browse and place it where you want to put it i have a font file so i will select that folder I've already done that. It's going to ask me to replace it. I don't want to replace it. What's going to happen is once it is done, it'll come out into my fonts folder. And then this is what it will look like. And so what you would do is you will click on it. You will see. So this is the outline one. So you can see the letters outline because it's a combo, athletic combo. You can see it right here at the top. The numbers do not count on this one. So, but you see what it looks like, right? And then you would just click install and it'll install real simple so what you would do is um, you would go into Cricut right and I'm gonna get rid of this one so you would go into Cricut and then you would type you go and type a text right so I'll click text and I'll just click pretty so um, just pretend it's not there okay <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I need to go into my fonts you so it's going to default if you open it up it's going to default to all i will go into system and i would uh let me clear this filter 
and then I will find the rhinestone font that I have and I'm going to press RSO and enter because I know what that is and so for instance um, I have this one just read me up so uh, I'll press the RSO cabaret and as you can see this is what it comes up as just like that so what I would do is I would go into my readme file that comes with it because usually the vendor should be able to give you the readme file and so when you see that you'll see the uh, the letter sizing right here right and you'll see how much it needs to be so for this one I need it to be uh, 119 in font size so I will go up to my point size right here and I will go 119 okay and then that's what you see and then it's going to tell me about my sizing it's going to tell me what size I need the height of it I need it to be so I need it to be 1.25 so I can either click it here or over there and then uh, or up here you can click it up here and I need it to be 1.25 okay and so that's what this will look like if you go to make it you can change the color of it of course if you want to change the color of it okay you can change it to pink if you want whatever and then I go to make it and then that is what is going to print um, please make sure that you do not mirror it uh, because you don't want to do that if you have the template so uh, I'm going to change this to uh, something that I had up earlier so with this one this has numbers right so okay for instance this one is a sports one if I click that one now I want to work right that's what that would look like uh, but it's one on here where it's only numbers okay y'all now it wants to work right <laughs> So this is another one. So you have to go in and check it and see exactly what you need to do. But there was one that I had. Uh, this one. So if I double click it and type the word pretty. This way in lowercase, as you can see, it's not going to do anything. Why? Because it's lowercase. This particular font has to be uppercase okay in order for it to work and as you can see it works fine I would just space it out a little bit you can do that space it out a little bit and then you can go into um, the sizing so this is the multi size right here it tells me I need it to be at 121 point so I need to go up here change that to 121 point and then my height needs to be One. needs to be 1.67 so this is 1.674 so it's pretty accurate okay and voila so because you're dealing with six and ten stones so these small ones is the six stone and these big ones are the ten stones and then if you go in and make it can't really see that so I'll change the color of it and you can change the color of it uh, I'll put pink I'm going to make it and that is what it looks like okay um the thing about this is with typable fonts you cannot go in and take out rhinestones and change it so like this one I would be a little weary because it's a little too close for me but I can't go in and, and take out rhinestones or anything like that with typable fonts you have to just use it for what it is so um that's it so I just wanted to make a quick video and show you all how to actually do this making typable fonts okay so uh, go out and do your research have fun with it if you're doing spangles which is faux rhinestones so it has to look of rhinestones they just use vinyl um, holographic vinyl at that um, you can play around with this a little more you can size it a little bigger or a little smaller it's up to you because they're actual not you're not actually um, putting stones into a circle on a template you're actually just cutting out the circles in this design 
because you're using vinyl. So that's a little bit different. But even at that, which you, when you're doing spangles, you have to, because you're using holographic vinyl, you have to mirror it. It's very important. If you're going to use vinyl, holographic vinyl and doing spangles, you must, must, must mirror the image. But if you're just making a rhinestone template to put on, you know, your, your, um, uh, whatever materials, flock material, you know, rhinestone flock material, then you do not, do not, do not, do not mirror your image. Just do it the way that it is. Okay. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, have a great, great, great fun weekend. I know I will. Um, and please y'all, if anything, be safe. If you all have any other videos that you all want me to do, I'll be glad to do them. Just let me know. I'll research it and I do it. Thank you all so much for tuning into the video that I had before. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so wealth is wealth is is knowledge for me so if i get knowledge to know how to do something i'm sharing it i don't care um it's plenty of money plenty of things out there to share among everybody so if i win you win too so be blessed have a great day god bless you all Bye bye